hello to Boxwood Festival and Chris Norman. Um, we are in Lewis in England and we're doing a little concert for the Boxwood Online Festival um, with Neil McCarran and Catherine Reimer and myself, Lisa Besmesuk. So we're going to start with one of the popular Haydn London trios, which was written for um, elegant gentlemen about town who like playing the flute in their spare time.
Zampa by Herold. Um, I'm sure you all know about the Doppler brothers, Franz, the composer and the virtuoso, and Karl, his brother, who was a, a conductor mainly, a flute player, but he was a left-handed flute player, rather like you Irish players over in Boxwood Festival. So, but we're not going to do that. Much too difficult to re relearn the flute technique. Um, they would tour Europe and Siberia all over the place playing duo concerts. Um, and what's quite funny about the opera tunes of this time is that no matter if it's about goodies or baddies or pirates or heroes or princesses, all the tunes are absolutely lovely um, and it's quite hard to give them the dramatic uh, feeling that they're supposed to have according to the story. So we're going to, to do this potpourri number two of Doppler and uh, the, the opera was tremendously popular when it was written in the 1830s and it was performed all over Europe, in the UK and even in New Orleans in the USA. That's how popular Herold was at the time. So Kathy is going to set the scene for us and she's going to narrate little synopsis of the plot as we go along. The Duke of Monza's elder son is a thoroughly bad lot. He has dissipated the family's fortune, abandoned his saintly girlfriend Alice and run off to join a band of Sicilian pirates. He adopts the name Zampa, which seems a very suitable name for a ruthless brigand. Thank <laughs> you. 
because she is to marry her sweetheart, the trusty Alfonso, who is in fact the younger son of the Duke of Monza. He is Zampa's brother. Camilla's joy and celebrate the betrothal. swagger onto the scene, boasting of prodigious drinking and dastardly exploits on the high seas. They attack the Lugano palace and take Camilla's father hostage. has not yet been recognised by anyone, pursues Camilla to the convent where she has taken refuge. He sings of how he can't resist a pretty girl and how he is used to getting his own way, the rotter. <laughs> join in, drinking to their leader and wallowing in their notorious behaviour.
Zampa threatens to kill her father if Camilla refuses to marry him. celebrating their triumph and newly plundered wealth. reached the end of the finale of Act 1 and there are three acts so there isn't time or space to tell you the rest of the plot today but suffice to say that Zampa gets what's coming to him he is dragged to a watery death in the sea by a ghostly statue of Alice so she wreaks revenge in the end Camilla is then free to marry Alfonso and everyone lives happily ever after <laughs> concert to a close with a trio by Franz Anton Hofmeister, a good friend of Mozart and Haydn.
Thank you.